What's going on, folks? Thank you for clicking on. Keep on clicking on. Make sure you stay to the end because I'm going to tell you how to overcome uh, these multi-layer attacks as we get to the end. Um, and if you've been watching my videos for any amount of time, you know I don't heat up until the end. But the attack on the Chosen One is a multi-layer attack. Understand that when they try to attack you with just one thing, they learn quickly that that's not going to ever be enough. Um, to just break your heart, to just give you heartbreak is not enough to break a chosen one. You have to go into a multi-timbral or a multi-layer attack to even begin to try to break a chosen one, which you're never going to be able to do. That's why they're chosen. But uh, anyway, it's just like an army, you know, just like when America goes to war, it would be cool if we just said all right we're gonna get them but we just gonna send we just gonna send the navy okay we're just gonna send the navy send the boats over there hit them with the bombs hit them on the coast well here's the thing if you if you got a formal formidable opponent just sending the navy ain't gonna ever be enough <laughs> you just messed with the borders or you just got close enough to affect the borders or maybe affect trade but you didn't bring them down when America want to really take somebody down, they send in the Army, the Navy, the Marines, uh, the Navy SEALs, uh, uh, Secret Service, CIA, FBI, whatever. They send in all of these multi-temporal attacks because it's going to take more than just one thing to bring that country down. Okay? So what are you supposed to do? Okay? Here's the thing. After the attack, after you feel like you've been all brought all the way down, in order to come back up, don't try to focus on all things at one time, number one. Number one, don't try to focus on all the areas that you were attacked and bring them up, okay? A government that has been, been taken down or attacked, if they're going to rebuild, they can't say, all right, everybody, let's rebuild everything at once. Now, what they're going to probably say is, hey, let's get our internet stuff back working that they took down okay once we get the internet back working we can work on the financial infrastructure once we get the financial infrastructure we can send the money over to the coast and rebuild the coast where they hit that once we get that then we can okay what we do is after the attack and after we're brought all the way down we start to try to build everything back up at once. Okay, I'm going to hit the gym hella hard, and I'm going to stack my bread hella hard, and I'm going to do this hella hard, and I'm going to do that hella hard. You can't do it that way. My suggestion to rebuild yourself, my approach would be do the least you can do every day. I, I can't go to the gym and bust down in an hour. I'm broken. But let me go and give it 10 minutes. Let me just put the gym clothes on and walk the neighborhood. Let me just, because I'm rebuilding. And see, as chosen ones, the, and as chosen ones, we, we know that we're invincible. But see, invincibility doesn't mean that you don't get hurt. You still get hurt, chosen. You still get physically hurt. You can't build that all back in one in one day. You got to build that up small steps, small steps, small steps. The, body, the Bible says the steps of the righteous are ordered by God, not the leaps. Your steps are blessed. Don't try to come and heal all of yourself at once. Focus on small healing, micro healing. This is better today. I slept all the way through the night today. I'm going to try to sleep all the way through the night tomorrow. The minimum viable output, not the maximum. Peace, like, and subscribe.